Alrighty, I hope everyone's having a blessed day. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about this one lady that's pretty popular. Her name is um, Giovanna Antoinette, and she's with Just Kidding Films. And I wanna talk about her decision to get a breast augmentation. And what I what do I think about it? I mean, if you someone that is in the public eye and is documenting their every single a lot of the moments in their life. I mean, I think you're gonna get people like me that's gonna have something to say about it because you're documenting it. And uh, my opinion on it is kind of biased to for the smaller chested women. So if this is gonna be some, this isn't gonna be some type of like, woohoo, you left the itty bitty titty committee and now you have plastic bags and I hope your confidence is way better. You know, no, it's not gonna be like that because me as a anti-breast augmentation person um, and kind of do, honestly, I wanna be totally honest on my channel, I do look down on people that get breast augmentations. I mean, I'm okay with breast lifts. Breast lifts are good in gravy, whatever. I might get a breast lift someday too, especially if, even if I have kids and you know, I might get a breast lift. But if the doctor suggested to get like plastic inside of me, I would say no. Um, I think she is a beautiful woman. She has a beautiful face. Um, she has a beautiful body. She's 5'11". I, I am 5'8 and a half. I dreamed about having her height when I was 15, 16. I dreamt about having 5'11 uh, body height because I wanted to be a runway model, honestly. That was my dream. So the fact that she, this woman, is 5'11", and is gorgeous, has a nice face, has a nice life, got a husband, like, why do you need to get breast implants for? Like, watching her videos, I kind of felt bad and sorry for her, for all that she had to go through just because society has a certain standard for women to follow, and one of them is being having a bigger chest, which isn't necessarily okay. I mean, yeah, in high school, everyone pays attention to the bigger chested women, regardless of how ugly their face is. Just That's because men and little boys are going through puberty, and that's naturally what their hormones are telling them to do. They can't control it, honestly. Men that are 13, 14, 15 don't care about a cute face. They don't care. They can care less, uh, especially in middle and high school. They don't care about a woman's cute face. All they care about is the boobs and maybe the butt. That's all they care about, honestly. And um, it's, it's just nature. It's just nature. Don't let that make make you feel bad about yourself because someday those hormones are gonna wear out way sooner than they think it's gonna because for them their prime is 14 to like 25 after that you know, their mind clears up a little bit same thing happened to me my I let my hormones control me for a long time honestly and now that I'm 24 and you know it's my body is calming down a little bit. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Basically, I want to sing that because it's true. I can think clear. I'm not thinking about always being with somebody. I'm okay with being alone. Even though I do have a partner right now and I'm very grateful and I'm very blessed for it. I'm very blessed to have my partner right now and I hope he stays around a little while. And I understand sometimes stuff doesn't work out, but I do hope it does work out. Um, I really do care for my boyfriend and um, also uh, yeah when I was younger you know it was kind of hard being alone especially when I didn't have a lot of friends and things so everybody wants wants to feel validated everyone wants to feel beautiful but I don't believe that having big boobs for a lot of women nowadays it's like that's what will make them feel feminine 
that's what will make them feel beautiful and it's kind of sad and it's offensive to the women with the smaller chests that actually do love our body and wouldn't want to change anything about it like when I see other smaller chested women I almost want to give them a hug like oh come here you cute little being you beautiful woman you don't let anyone tell you that you're not beautiful when I see a t smaller chested woman and she's not wearing a padded bra and she's not hiding it, I just want to hug her. I really do. Because uh, the other day I was at the mall and I was at Aldo, the shoe store. I met this little cutest Hispanic girl that was selling me a purse. She, this woman was about 4'11". She didn't have, she wasn't hiding anything. She was wearing the cutest top ever. And she was showing off just how slender and cute and just tiny and petite she is. And she wasn't... She just exuded self-confidence and femininity. Femi she was just so feminine and gorgeous. And I just love seeing that, honestly. Um, I read online on Google especially that a lot of women regret their breast implants because once they get them, they feel like they lose their identity. I feel like if I ever got a breast implant, I would lose my identity because my body is what carried me through life it's what made people respect me it's what it's what got me through everything and if I change anything about it I'm gonna want to change it back just like with my tattoos I would do anything to get rid of them all of them every single one maybe except the wings I would never get rid of these even my mom said never get rid of these but everything all the other changes I did to my body I wish I could undo I really do and I'm, I'm speaking from my heart like, I'm speaking from my heart. Like, all my other tattoos, I wish I can just make them go away because I want to feel pure and innocent again. That's why. I want to feel pure and innocent. And I feel like some of my tattoos make me feel like... Like, I'm transparent. Like, people can see my tattoos and somehow tell my life story. And I don't like feeling transparent. I like feeling innocent. And, like, when someone looks at me, like, oh, they just saw... Uh, cute little little young little woman you know uh, there's nothing about her that's that's a little out of the ordinary or anything and by out of the ordinary I mean like having depression and struggling with being borderline and now that I'm getting older I'm getting a whole, getting used to it so uh, I mean, if she does watch this video, I just wanted to tell her that you were beautiful before and you didn't have to get surgery and go through all that pain and then put on that red bikini and look in the mirror just to think to yourself, I look too provocative. I can't let my mom, my dad, and my in-laws see me like this. I mean, did you ever feel that way before you got the implants? I kind of feel regret. When I, I kind of see regret when I when I saw that video. I kind of felt some regret on her part. Like, oh, I did it. It's too late now. You know, I don't know. Or maybe increase her confidence. I don't know. Everyone's living their journey. That's all I know. But I really wish she could have just been happy with her body and not have gotten any plastic surgery. So that's my take on it.